All right, so I just posted a short video on the case for anti-gravity and I featured a quote from a 2022 research paper by the <clears throat> Yakir Aronhoff research group and <clears throat> so the quote refers to gravitational repulsion this implies gravitational repulsion and <clears throat> what this refers to is the the Heisenberg modular momentum that is measured in a post selection um, state from the future going into the past. And so due to the conservation of energy, this negative mass particle vanishes in the post-selection process. But the newly developed algebraic quantum scientific method of Professor Basil J. Hiley relies on non-commutativity with no collapse of the wave function in fact, there is no wave function. It's just algebra based on non-commutativity. And what this means is that the Heisenberg uncertainty principle of position and momentum that originates from the Louis de Broglie wave model of matter um, based on Planck's constant um, actually explains that the future and the past is overlapping from the transition frequencies that Heisenberg modeled using non-commutative algebra, quantum algebra. When he explained the Ritz-Rydberg combination principle of the absorption spectrum of light for matter. And so, based on the de Broglie law of phase harmony, this means light has gravitational mass from this time reversed signal and that matter is actually due to trapped light having this time reversed negative frequency 
signal that Professor John G. Williamson calls the super strong force. And why is it super strong? Because it's more powerful than the strong force that holds the protons together with the gluons. And he explains this with the example of using electrons to destroy protons, that the electron is fundamental matter, while the proton is not fundamental. And yet the electron has one half spin, indicating that it originates from the fifth dimension that cannot be seen in linear time. And this means that gravity as space-time is an emergent property from this time reversed negative frequency that is non-local and non-commutative. So there is no rest frame of light of a space-time at the speed of light. And Therefore, the secret of anti-gravity is inherently tied to the secret of formless awareness as proto-consciousness, what Roger Penrose calls proto-consciousness from Bernard de Espinosa. Espinade's book, Veiled Reality. So this is based on John Bell's inequality experiment that disproved Einstein claim against spooky action at a distance. So Professor Basil J. Hiley explains that the non-locality is not action at a distance because it occurs before the particle exists, it occurs in what he calls pre-space. It occurs in what Roger Penrose calls fundamental time and non-locality occurs in what math professor Alan Kahn calls primitive time based on the relativistic quantum non-locality in this fifth dimension that's super luminal and has super radiance. And a near bond Bandio Padhe just experimentally proved that the microtubules 
inside the neurons and inside our brains rely on super radiance. So the super radiance is a acoustic phonon superluminal signal with the future overlapping with the past so it is secretly guiding matter in a fifth dimension that cannot be seen and this was demonstrated experimentally with the weak measurements that are done using the Heisenberg matrices math so that the momentum can be measured as the trajectory of a particle going through the two-slit experiment or the non-locality of the Stern-Gerlach spin experiment or the delayed choice experiment that was first proposed by Olivier Costa de Beauregard and then proposed by John Wheeler and was experimentally proven to demonstrate the future affecting the past just as the weak measurements rely on the future affecting the past. And so Professor Jean Brimon points out that Bell's inequality violates primitive causality and of from Einstein and therefore it's called primitive time by Alain Khan because this non-local resonance is explained by simple music theory and is practiced in traditional culture from our original human culture, the San Bushmen of Africa. And so quantum biology has now proven that the origin of life itself is due to this formless awareness as anti-gravity also called negative entropy that also is the same gravitational potential as dark energy of the universe as Roger Penrose explains and as Nobel physicist Gerard de Hooft explains this dark energy is actually a time reversed negative frequency as an eternal black hole at the origin of all matter in the fifth dimension 
And so astrophysics professor Paul S. Wesson realized in the final research he did in his final years alive about 10 years ago that Louis de Broglie's law of phase harmony explains spiritual paranormal phenomenon because of this superluminal time reversed signal that is anti gravity and occurs non locally and is secretly guiding matter and it can be accessed through meditation as a deep listening process through simple music as the truth of reality as math professor Alon Khan's Khan explains and as I also realized when I was 16 years old taking music theory from my piano teacher who taught a, an adult music theory class and as I studied privately with her husband, a former University of Minnesota music professor who taught me music orchestration and ear training and composition and music theory. And as math professor Alon Khan describes orchestration, the conductor is resonating and harmonizing different space times at the same time using the secret of music theory as non-commutativity that has the ability to transpose different space times at the same time through non-commutativity as non-locality. And my own quantum physics professor at Hampshire College, Herbert J. Bernstein, then had his research classified top secret and then he was hired by the NSA, the top secret NSA, to develop the quantum super dense teleportation signals system for NASA to then test using satellites and the secret of the quantum super dense communication system is using non-commutative non-locality modeled by a toroid a non-commutative toroid that has a hole in it 
because when you flip the donut as a toroid, it is non-commutative between the inside and the outside compared to when you flip a sphere, the sphere is symmetric. So the toroid is able to have entangled orbital angular momentum along with entangled intrinsic angular momentum as spin. And so by entangling both the orbital angular momentum along with the intrinsic angular momentum as spin, then the light signal of the laser can be more secure, more encrypted as a quantum entangled superluminal instantaneous signal in the fifth dimension that cannot be seen. And so the secret of the quantum signals is the same secret of anti-gravity that causes gravity to emerge as the collapse of the wave function in mathematics for symmetric commutative geometry measured using real numbers of the geometric continuum. And so non-commutativity can be scaled at the macro level without any wave function. And this was the emphasis of eddy oceans at the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center. Eddy oceans explained that non-commutativity was the secret of Nagong as internal martial arts for anti-gravity and the force used for healing energy and spiritual abilities and eddy oceans tried to explain non-commutativity to Carl Prebram, who had developed a holographic brain model, but Carl Prebram could not understand the non-commutative mathematics. So in normal Fourier analysis, the Fourier transform in complex numbers of Hilbert space has the negative frequency as a value of zero so that it enables the 
positive frequency to not be canceled out. But the imaginary number of a negative frequency in the complex space means that it cannot be canceled out and it resonates and self amplifies to the macro scale. And this is the secret of the quantum algebra that then guides guides matter from the future and it requires the ability for acoustic resonance to harmonize matter from the future and this is possible in quantum biology because it has been proven that humans especially musicians can hear and listen up to 10 times faster than the conversion from time to frequency because in Fourier analysis the time is defined by a symmetric space that has to be converted into or transformed into a frequency measurement and so it takes time to make the frequency measurement and so the waves have to be bundled together as a compiled waveform to then convert the frequency into time for the location of a particle and this is the origin of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle but in fact since Heisenberg originally discovered the light absorption is non-commutative based on negative frequency in the imaginary time therefore there has to be a non-local process of the future as a time reversed signal that is guiding matter including light and this is the secret gravitational mass of light that is the gravitational potential of not just light but all matter because all matter is made of light As explained by Gerard de Hooft, the Nobel physicist, co-authoring with Martin van der Mark in their paper, Light is Heavy. And so, the ability to listen to music that is faster than time frequency uncertainty means 
that the resonance creates a shock wave just as a wormhole for a black hole is modeled for hawking radiation as super radiance from negative frequency and time reverse signals using an acoustic shock wave as a an acoustic black hole and so the non-local non-commutative acoustic alchemy is the ancient advanced acoustic alchemy that enables levitation as anti-gravity when this time reversed negative frequency is absorbed and stored up in the body through intense long term non-stop meditation as was well demonstrated by Saint Joseph de Copertino the focus of the book by Professor Michael Grosso called The Man Who Could Fly. And my own teacher, uh, Chun Yu Lin of Spring Force Qigong, explained that after he finished his 28 day non stop full lotus padma asana meditation in the cave at mount ching cheng ching cheng in sichuan province by tibet he then left the cave and meditated outside the cave in full lotus and then spiraled up three meters or nine feet while he was next to a pine tree and so he also experienced this anti-gravity force that had accumulated in his body and it's called the wan chi or cosmic chi that has to unify with the wan jing in the body through the wan shen and this is the secret of the alchemy is to unify the wan chi with the wan jing and the wan shen back to the formless awareness as the emptiness and therefore the emptiness can be embodied as a time reversed signal and Oliver Costa de Beauregard was the protege of Louis de Broglie and so he argued that due to time invariance of relativity therefore at the micro scale there has to be a time reversed signal from the future that explains all spiritual and paranormal phenomena but we now know that Louis de Broglie's law of phase harmony as Professor John G. Williamson explains does not allow a symmetric rest frame based on time invariance and therefore 
the conservation of momentum is violated because Louis de Broglie was relying not on wavelength as measured by the reduced Planck constant of H bar, but rather Planck's constant as defined by Louis de Broglie is directly due to non-commutative time and frequency with a second time from the future that's har harmonizing the time from the past. And this harmonization is non-commutative. And so it has an, an inherent twist that is modeled by the non-commutative toroid or donut and the twist in the donut is the future and the past overlapping that cannot be seen in 4D space-time. So this fifth dimension is also <clears throat> converges to a geometric dimension of zero, but it's not zero because it's not a point in space-time. It's not defined by the geometric continuum. It is not an extension of Riemannian geometry, and even Einstein admitted that Heisenberg's non-commutative mathematics is the future of the ether that violates space-time as a continuum, that the continuum of space-time no longer exists. And therefore, anti-gravity is the secret origin of life on Earth goes against all of classical physics. And concomitantly, classical physics goes against all of life on Earth and therefore classical physics as the religion of science and technology has caused the ecological crisis and social injustice crisis due to the wrong definition of space-time based on entropy <clears throat> and as primitive causality as linear time defined by symmetric irrational magnitude from the, the wrong music theory. And this is why anti-gravity is not just a technology to be manipulated by spacecraft uh, based on non-unitary physics as Jack Sarfati would want us to believe but actually the non-commutative mathematics can only be applied by formless awareness as a inherent non-repeatable resonance
since it's emanating from before any observation takes place. This is why when people experienced St. Joseph de Copertino levitating, his clothes did not move because they existed in a space-time bubble, a kind of a dream bubble because our own holographic reality is actually a also kind of dream bubble where the truth is a discrete measurement and so in order to experience space-time as anti-gravity there has to be a quantum Zeno effect where the measurement rate is faster than the collapse of the wave function. So it's faster than time, frequency, uncertainty, and it occurs before any external measurement is detected or observed at the space of light as the invariance at the speed of light as the invariance so this means that the speed of light is no longer defined by acceleration um, as Einstein insisted was required for primitive causality, but rather the speed of light is now defined by Planck's constant based on frequency and time directly and the quantum potential is an, an inherent non-commutative process so that Planck's constant squared as Professor Basel J. Hiley explains then creates the quantum potential as the anti-gravity force of matter of being alive in matter and so this this means that the light has to be not just turned around but also twisted in this fifth dimension in order for light to be trapped relying on this quantum potential causative formative cause that Einstein called phrenometry because it is a motion without any medium of cause so it's another way of stating that the music originates from no medium and therefore the superluminal acoustic signal that physicist Gunther Nimps documented and explained and I have his book right here this book right here it 
is actually due to the non-commutative anti-gravity non-locality. And as Professor Nymphs explains this superluminal acoustic signal is occurring all the time based on a negative refractive index of space-time around us. So you can see this is modeled right here. So that space between the prisms is a zero time space and therefore it is a quantum tunneling that is superluminal and instantaneous. And Professor Nymphs literally transmitted Mozart at a superluminal signal rate. So he did this experiment at MIT. And the people there, including Professor Francis Lowe, who organized the seminar, had perfect pitch and he realized that the signal had been not in G minor because the recorder was running too fast. And this confirmed that the signal had been transmitted even though it violated Einstein's primitive causality. And another example of this is that Dr. Aniraban Baniopahe has documented the negative refractive index in the microtubules that exhibit super radiance have quantum coherence at ultrasound frequency. And so this ultrasound is creating the super radiance with the strongest uh, amplitude of a increase of 3000 times the normal uh, conductance of electromagnetic uh, signals through the microtubule. And this is due to the negative refractive index of the tubulin inside the microtubule with the microtubule creating this fifth dimensional non-commutative resonance that is anti-gravity and the tinnitus research has documented that the highest pitch that we hear externally and can listen to externally then resonates internally inside our brain as ultrasound and so the, the ear has been proven to be able to hear in a quiet room a amplitude signal that is smaller than the atom, has a smaller diameter, smaller de Broglie wavelength than the atom and therefore 
it exhibits a superluminal quantum coherence that's faster than the Heisenberg uncertainty principle as quantum biology. And so through meditation, we are able to resonate and then absorb this negative frequency time reversed signal as a virtual photon that then increases the photons inside our body and the energy as Wan Chi from this time reversed signal is then able to create new matter from the increased photons and also to have anti-gravity and also to do long distance healing. In other words, it's a, a wormhole that is absorbing external matter from a lower frequency and transforming it into a time-reversed negative frequency anti-gravity force that creates new matter through the wormhole inside our bodies as the truth of reality and this has been demonstrated externally using ultrasound by Fabio Cardone's research group in Italy and he uses a sonotrode at 25 at 15 watts um, and he has documented the transmutation of matter and the creation of a space-time wormhole, a superluminal ghost wave, as he calls it, that relies on a twisting of space-time. And so the secret of quantum biology is now documenting the source of all of our perceptions in space-time are due to quantum non-locality as formless awareness so that even when we leave our body we have a direct access to the quantum formless awareness the non-locality due to the the laser biophoton coherent signals that continue to exist when our spirit leaves our body and so even ghosts need to be healed as the spiritual masters also even heal the ghosts because the wormhole is as our soul is continuing to absorb the lower frequency light as a entropic signal that then has to be transmitted 
into the future as a new light signal as Hawking radiation demonstrates and this causes the black hole to evaporate and then new matter to be created from new light in the future that overlaps with the past of our lower frequency signals that through the wormhole are then converted not just into a higher frequency but into a negative frequency with a time reversed signal and this is what meditation is doing is that it is this non-local non-commutative process of the universe itself as this fifth dimensional wormhole that's constantly transmuting transmuting transforming matter from this lower frequency disharmony into a negative frequency pre-established harmony from the future through light and that's how light is created through that superluminal super radiance of acoustic phonons as anti-gravity the time reverse signal as the dark energy quantum gravitational potential and therefore time is inherently asymmetric and this process is eternal never ending never beginning and that is the true secret of anti-gravity is that space-time is ultimately not just emergent but an illusion of linear time and we cannot see the truth because it's faster than the speed of light as an acceleration and measured by acceleration it is light measured by the fifth dimension of the future and the past overlapping based on twisting light through the wormhole that is the process of listening from the future so I will leave it at that it has been one hour and we are approaching the spring equinox so I hope you enjoy the inherent anti-gravity negative entropy of the spring equinox that is bringing new life that is harmonic harmonized life on earth thank you